The Watergate hearings really did, that was, that was the watershed event for news and public affairs on public television. Up to that point, the, uh, the stations and the public was generally divided over whether they even needed uh, any more news and public affairs on television beyond what was already there on commercial television. The Nixon administration particularly didn't think there was a need for any more news and public affairs <laughs> on public broadcasting. But the Watergate, the Watergate hearings changed everything. And the reason it changed was because of a, there were several individuals who, who had the courage to make some really tough decisions. And one of them was not to necessarily to broadcast them gavel to gavel, because many of the stations would not broadcast it live because they had educational TV on during the daytime, but somebody, and I was part of the mix, the, the somebodies, so why the hell don't we run them at night? Repeat them at night. And um, that was a big, big deal. It was a big decision. And uh, the people who were running PBS were nervous about it, so they said, let's poll the stations. So, but the, the, we did poll the stations. But we pulled the stations in a very clever way. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> pulled the stations with a question that was kind of phrased in such a way: Do you want to be Do you want to be patriotic or do you want to be a jerk? You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> and we still barely won a majority. <laughs> and uh, but and, as McNeil said at the time, uh, uh, and I, I quote him almost uh, verbatim: uh, Well, the option because it was summertime. And PBS didn't have that much to run at night. Any, they had no original programs to run at night anyhow. So he said, well, all they would, all they would run if they didn't run the hearings would be, well, how did he put it, um, English-speaking people talking, <laughs> animals mating, <laughs> and occasionally English-speaking people mating and animals talking. <laughs> So why not replace it with the Watergate hearing? So that's why when I said 3 a.m., the hearings weren't going on until 3 a.m. That was the repeat every night. We would do it live all day, but we only had about maybe half the stations were watching it, were, were, were broadcasting it. But at night, uh, they, and at first some it wouldn't, you know, and they, it was the old story, you know, the, uh, 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 the big stations wouldn't take it, and then, but then they started because the word got out, and then suddenly it became, it became a big deal. And when, the, big, the big deal was that it proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that there was a role for news and public affairs on public broadcasting because of those hearings. And out of that came the news hour and everything else.